Hey, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. Let me show you something really quick. I got this nice painting in Chinatown, San Francisco a few years ago, and uh, it's of the Ba Xian Guo, the eight immortals. The eight immortals cross the river. And in China, each immortal has a history and a story that goes along with it and serves to inspire the reader. Kind of like um, Robin Hood, there's lots of characters and each character has a background. Like you have little John, you have Sheriff John, you have, you know, um, you have the Sheriff of Nottingham, you have uh, all these different characters, Maid Marian. In China is no different, you have the eight immortals. And so in Kung Fu, when I learned Kung Fu, we have uh, a different fighting style based on each of the immortals and a different weapons fighting style based on each of the immortals. So what I want to show you in this video is a short little sequence, um, just a little tiny condensed one of the cripple. Tia Guai Li is his name, or Li Tia Kwai, sometimes in America, but Tia Guai Li in China. And Tia Guai Li just basically was a, a beggar, or was a, actually was a man who meditated himself out of his body and during his out-of-body meditation, his body was killed by wild beasts in the, in the forest. And so when his spirit went to come back into his body, it had nothing to fly into except for a beggar who was dying in a ditch. And so he did that to save the soul and then left the rest of his life. He was immortal but had a crippled leg. And so the, um, the Kung Fu style based on Tia Guai Li is done with a lot of kicks and a limp. And so the limp will change mysterically from side to side because he's an immortal, he can shift his limp. Okay, so um, this is a short version of the long form. And I hope you get it down, practice it with me. Let's go for it. So from this beginning position, what we do is we, we could bow just to show respect. And then what I do is I turn to the right and I offer my hands out in cups this way into a cat stance. And I'm going to drink my right hand back and really like I'm drinking the elixir of life. Okay, as I bend my back as far as it'll let me go, from here I slingshot back and I boom, throw my left one out toward you. Okay, then I don't put any weight on my right leg, so I kind of cross and limp, throw again. Cross and limp, throw again. Cross and limp, throw again. And then what I do is I go kick, inside kick, side kick. Okay, inside kick higher, side kick higher. Inside kick higher, side kick higher, inside kick higher, side kick higher. And then from there, I cross my leg on top and kind of rest it like this. And I circle my arms over my head and I pour another drink, okay? From here, I throw the drink forward and kick somebody in the knee, in the chest, and in the face, okay? And then from here, what I'm gonna do is step out into a horse's stance and circle my arms around, sink, into a strong stance. Circle around, sink, strong stance. Circle around, and sink this way. A lot of things in Tiago Ali are done three times. Okay, then I'm gonna turn to the left, take my right leg, and sweep it underneath this leg. One, two, three. Or you can just keep it going many times. Okay, but in the form it's just done about three to six times. Come up into a, uh, Natural stance, circle my arms over my head, hit, hit. Circle over my head, hit, hit. Turn to the left, and again I drink back and really show my flexibility in my back. From here I come back this way, look to the right, and I'm gonna go shoulder hit, shoulder hit, shoulder hit. Look to the left and roll. One, two, three, four, and one more, I come up this way and go over my head, one, over my head, two, over my head, three. And then I'm going to come back and whoa, even with my roll, show my balance and block this way. Spin around all the way, hook kick one. Block, hook kick two, block, hook kick three. From here, offer my cups. Drink one more time. One last drink for the road. Bring my cups up and whoo, slam my cups down and hold there in that good stance and bow. So there's a short, short sequence from our traditional Tia Guai Li form. And now we'll show it in regular speed. 
And if you're not dizzy after practicing that, then something's wrong with you, because if I wasn't drunk before, I'm drunk now off dizziness. But that's the point, maintaining consciousness, maintaining balance, maintaining precise kicking, even during all this dizziness. And then you can go and vomit in the back room or practice it again. <laughs>